Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for electronic brake controller on a 2020 Ford F-150. This wiring adapter makes the install of the brake controller on this vehicle specifically so much easier. It truly makes it plug and play without having to do any wire splicing. Myself, I am not a wiring expert, so anytime I can opt for an easier factory harness plug-in, tends to be a lot less headaches and a lot less troubleshooting. So the factory plug is behind there. You do have a pigtail harness that clips into the factory plug and then goes to your brake controller. This pigtail is gonna work with a bunch of different time delayed brake controllers, including the draw tight activator one, two, and three, and the Takancha power track. There's also compatible proportional brake controllers, including the Takancha Prodigy, P2, P3, which we have installed, the Primus IQ, and the Voyager. We've chosen to install the Takancha P3, which is a good option with a bunch of different adjustability. Having proportional systems really helps give you a smooth transition and makes driving with the trailer so much easier and a lot less stressful. So to get this plugged in, this is gonna tie back into our factory harness, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually install that. So we're gonna look for our factory brake controller connector that we're gonna plug into. Now it's gonna be located underneath the steering wheel here, and we'll start by pulling off the plastic dash trim. Now there's a spot here to put your finger, as well as the other side, so work your way slowly, and it should separate. If you need a trim panel tool remover, that's also a possibility to help you out, but I'm able to do it with my fingers pretty easily. And that should drop down. So with this dropped out of the way, you're gonna see four bolts, one, two, three, four. We're gonna go ahead and remove those with a 10 millimeter socket. Once four bolts are out, these are gonna sit just in here slotted. So you can set this aside. So to get to our factory plug, it's tucked behind here. So there's this pocket that actually sits right behind there. So I'm gonna go ahead and there is a little clip you're gonna push up before pulling out. So before doing that, we'll put a little dielectric grease on the plug itself. And if you don't have some of this, we do that have that at e-trailer or your local auto parts store should have it. And this is just gonna add a little bit of electrical connection and fill any voids to prevent any loose connections. So we'll just clip that back in. So we're gonna go through these to check for power. And let's double check our brake just to make sure we have it consistent. We're just gonna push the pedal again. So it looks as if we are getting the brake signal but not power. So we're gonna go under the hood into the fuse box and get that figured out. So on our passenger side underneath the hood, you're gonna find the fuse panel here. So first you're gonna to wanna to take this front part off, just as simple as pushing that up, and that'll come out of the way. And then you then have one more clip, and that'll pry back. So you can see this opening here. In your owner's manual, it's gonna be labeled as 24. So, see the 50 amp, the 10, and the 25, it's gonna go in between there. And let's check to see if that gives us our power. So with our 30 amp fuse in the 24 slot, we now have power to our controller. So we have power to the controller. So we're set to really get this back into place, and then we'll mount our controller. So take your four bolts that you had, put your metal plate back in place, and then you're able to zip those up before putting this plastic panel back in place, I'm gonna just pry this back a little and run the wire behind it. And now we can snap this back up. And that was a look and installation of the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for electronic brake controllers on a 2020 Ford F-150.